Okay, good morning. Welcome to practice number 31. That's practice number 31. Okay, we, today we started a new section in Beast Academy about perimeter and area. Okay, so we're going to learn a little bit about perimeter and area. And actually, we still have these Duplo blocks left over from yesterday, so they're going to help us. Remember our video yesterday about dimensions? Yeah. Okay. That's nice. So the simplest thing to start with for perimeter and area is just a, a square. Oops, this marker's almost gone. A square that each side is length one. So in Beast Academy this morning, what did you learn about what is the perimeter? Well, it's, it's the number all the way around an object. Right, it's the distance all the way around. That's perimeter. So what is the perimeter of this square? Well, it's 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, plus one which is 4. Hi, 4. Mm. <laughs> Good job. 4. So the perimeter is 4. Okay. And the area of this, we're just going to define as, as being 1. The area of a 1 by 1 square is 1. And when we have more complicated objects, the way we find the area is we just count the number of one by one squares. So that's at least a starting place of how we find area. Okay? So let's instead now go to something that's just a little bit more complicated and we'll make a four by four square. So instead, it's four on a side. Okay? So the perimeter. What is the perimeter of this square, this 4 by 4 by 4 square? Well, you're figuring that out. I'm going to make a 4 by 4 by 4 square. I'm going to duplicate that. Okay, so what is the perimeter of our 4 by 4 by 4 square? 16. 16, very good. Did I, say, I, meant, I meant just 4 by 4, not 4 by 4 by 4. So the perimeter is? It's 16. 16. And now we have to figure out the area. And the area we figure out by chopping it up into one by one by one blocks. Okay? How many one by one by one blocks are inside of a four? I keep saying one by one by one. It's left over from yesterday. How many one by one squares are in a four by four square? Can you count them? Yeah, how many how many duplo blocks are in my in my four by four square? Well, these. Yeah, the little individual ones. So there's there's sixteen in. There's sixteen, mm -hmm. right? And you know what's special about the number sixteen? It's it's four times. It's 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4. Right, or 4 times 4, okay, which is also 16. So in a 4 by 4 square, the perimeter is 16, going all the way around, and there's also 16 blocks in it. That's pretty neat, right? Yeah. Do you want to do one more square, or do you want to do a, a, a special shape for your introduction? Special shape. Okay, a special shape. Okay. There's another really neat shape called a circle. Have you ever seen a circle before? Yeah. Yeah? What sort of, what sorts of things are shaped like circles? Well, like balls. Balls are, yeah, they're kind of circles. They're, those are spheres. Those are like three-dimensional circles. Mm -hmm. But how about like a plate is, is a circle sometimes? Mm -hmm. What else is a circle sometimes? Well, sometimes you can draw a shape on... A whiteboard and a circle. That's true. Sometimes you draw a shape on a whiteboard and it's a circle. Hey, I just did that. And what else is a circle? Something you see every day, probably, or almost every day. The sun. The sun, kind of, yeah. The sun looks like a circle. That's true. Coins look like circles, like pennies or circles. Doorknobs. Doorknobs can be circles. Yeah, okay, so there's a lot of circles. So there's a special thing about a circle. The distance from the middle to the edge is called the radius. Have you ever heard that before? 
Yeah, I've read a book. You read a book that talked about the radius. The perimeter of the circle, I'm just going to write it as P, mm -hmm. is a special number, 2 pi times the radius. Pi, pi is a really special number. Mm -hmm. And the area is pi times the radius squared. So if I have a circle whose radius is 3, mm -hmm. the perimeter is 2 times pi times 3, or 6 pi. And the area is pi, do you know what 3 squared is? 3 times 3? 9. 9, yeah, the area is 9 pi. So there's a special number pi that you use to calculate the area and perimeter of circles. Mm -hmm. It's pretty neat. Yeah. Okay, so where it sounds like this is going to be a fun chapter in, in Beast Academy, we're going to learn about perimeter and area. So today we just did a simple example with squares and then a special example with circles, just to give you a little introduction. The perimeter of a circle is just all around it, one, one time around the circle, mm -hmm. and the area is everything inside. Mm -hmm. Okay, good job. Good job. Whoops, I don't throw a marker in the Duplo blocks.